Hello and welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Maureen. And I am Nyamgul. And we're so glad to have you join us today. It's a Friday and we're hoping that you are going to unwind when everything is done. Thank God it's Friday and we thank God that we are alive and well to see today. Yes, thank God we are alive and well. It's a Friday flex yeah. and we are taking things a little bit easier. Yes, yes, yes. And that's why, uh, like we said, we're going to be talking about spa. Um, I, I know a lot of people, when you hear spa, you think about massage. Are they really the same or are they, is there a difference? And what kind of benefits will we have uh, from there? Well, we also have the theme of today. Do we play hard enough to offset the stresses of Nigeria's hardships? All work and no play, as they say. Makes Jack a doll boy, yes. or makes you, whatever your name is. <laughs> <laughs> so when you work, you play. How much do we even play in Lagos? How much do we unwind in Lagos as it is? Not really that you'll be playing like a child, but when you rest and when you do other things that are not your routine things, then you seem relaxed. But do we have that time in Lagos at all? <laughs> it's, funny how, all it's funny how Lagos has become synonymous with stress, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yet we do love our Lagos. <laughs> <Don't> love we? <laughs> yes. Isn't it interesting though? Because if you leave Lagos and go to climes that are more quiet and more mm -hmm. where things are more calm, stay there for a week and you begin to miss the madness of Lagos. Yeah, How like, do you explain that? <laughs> How do it's, you explain that? It's crazy. That? And you just step into Lagos and you're like, oh, show, oh, show, oh, show. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I'm home. I'm, 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 <laughs> this home. is Lagos. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, you know, uh, we, were, we were talking some days ago about mental um, evaluation that people mm -hmm. need. And all of us in Lagos kind of like need this thing once in a while. You know, go check yourself, see uh, how, how your clock is ticking, how, <laughs> how much sharp you are and what you need. Sometimes you might just need help, but you don't know that you need help. Because, I mean, the stress is crazy. You're, you're moving a 35 uh, minutes journey. I always use that because the, the axis I live is 35 minutes to the island and sometimes you spend the other day I spent eight hours on the road before I got home. Closed mm -hmm. at 4.30, got onto the bus and then I got home like quarter to 12. Who does that? <laughs> Where on earth do you meet that? And it is almost like it's a regular thing. So federal government, what it, whatever it is, whatever it's going to take for you to finish the road for us to move freely Please do, because the hardship is... is well, when you say, Nyamgo, that it's almost like a regular thing, yeah. it is a regular thing in Lagos. Traffic yeah. is a regular At thing in Lagos. At least we have Lagos. an excuse now that, okay, they're they are working on the road. So finish the road. Let that excuse be out of the way, and let's know that our normal Lagos traffic mm. has returned, not this one that is avoidable. But so how do you recreate in Lagos? How do you relax when you're not in traffic, when you're not in the office? You know, recently I discovered some beaches in Lagos, apart from the popular Oniru Beach that's close to us here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mention their names <laughs> because they've not paid us to advertise for them, but you should take time and discover some of these beaches. Go there and just immerse yourself in nature and let go. Don't take yourself too seriously all the time because sometimes, trust me, not a lot of people don't really take you as seriously as you <laughs> think that they do. So just try and relax and be happy with yourself. And, you yeah. Know. Um, when, you, when you go to the beach, the breeze from the water, from the sea that mm -hmm. hits you is different from the one you see, you meet on traffic or even if you're sitting in the AC or anywhere. The natural breeze, you just feel like, you know, something is added to your life and all that. The you more can, you can, we came from nature, Nyamu. Yeah. So we came from nature. So when we, when we communicate with nature, it is very therapeutic. Mm -hmm. More than we can even explain. I agree. When you pull off your shoes and let your feet down in the sand, when you get your hands dirty, playing in the sand, mm. when you jump into water, whether you can swim or not, like some of us that cannot swim, <laughs> <laughs> just splashing in there and just feeling that natural connection mm. is healing. Yeah. Well, swimming, swimming comes in various ways. Somebody asked me if I could swim. I, I come from a riverine area. Well, mm. let me not say a riverine area, but we have a river in my, in my community and everybody mm. can't swim. I said, I can't swim, but I won't drown. 
I will float. Yeah, I know yeah. how to float. <laughs> but to move from one point to the other, I'll just go with the current. <laughs> just stay afloat and move with the current. That's all I do. So, okay, I'm, I have an edge over you. But you do have an edge yes. over me in yes. that regard. So, if we look at last month today, uh, what they are saying, um, uh, last month here to hard working Nigeria. Okay, so mass movement along Marina Road from UBA towards NNPC filling station. Uh, Kakawa and Cathedral, still good, connecting Inner Marina from uh, Outer Marina by CMS bus stop. A good movement down to Nitel intersection from Cathedral, Force Road towards TBS is okay. Okay, so if you're on that axis, they say it is okay. Well, when I was coming, the roads were relatively free this morning, yeah. even both ways. So we hope that an improvement has come. They get really free by this time of the day. Well, now it's seven, so now this is yeah. the, okay. the, 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 the crazy time. But if you were to leave your home, say 5 a.m., 6 a.m., it's relatively free. Uh, but when you get to 7, 6.30, mm -hmm. 6.30, then it gets crazy. And then 7 o'clock, it gets really, really crazy. So wherever you are, you begin to find yourself in dire situations. What was the situation on Third Mainland? Do we have that? Ah, well, uh, Third Mainland is not here. But this morning when I was coming, Third Mainland was very, very free, you know, uh, compared to other days. And why I'm saying this is both axes. Sometimes in the morning when you're coming, the traffic is much. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is up to six o'clock and beyond, the traffic is much. But when you're going out of uh, VI to the mainland, the traffic is very free. You're driving uh, against yes, traffic. Yes, but today on both sides, it was very, very free. So I wonder what is happening if people took weekend earlier <laughs> and then they are not on the road. <laughs> and so from the other axis that um, Lasma is talking about, uh, Jegunle connecting uh, Kola is good, but busy approaching Kola due to uh, commercial activities is better in what... Uh, Cases, but busy approaching. Uh, is this cases the, the, the road? I have to, what Zebrea said, <laughs> use my Nyokometa. <laughs> okay, Castle, <laughs> approaching Castle due to an impediment along the corridor, which is expected to be evacuated soon. So maybe there's a breakdown there. There's better movement in what Marian Road, Abulegba, or Jaoba charity down to Abattoir. Return journey from Abattoir down to Charity is good. Inward and outward of Social Club Road is also good. And finally, uh, on the return journey, the entire stretch of Abulegba inward at Jegunle is good. Good movement inward and outward of Ilekbo Corridor. So most of the uh, things we are being told today mm -hmm. uh, says that um, or say that um, the roads are good. Relatively, they are good. So whatever brought that to be, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we can see. Thank you for the traffic. Okay. All so, right. So yeah. from there, we'll move on to top trending. Mm -hmm. And you have over 300 Nigerians fleeing war-torn Sudan arrived safely in Abuja. Yeah. Well, finally. Mm, finally. But that's just 300. Out of 5,500 official figure, yeah. we have 300. So we have 5,200 also uh, that have not arrived. And I wonder what the logistic problems are. And uh, There you have the visual there of the returnees from Sudan. I'd like to, I imagine most of them are students. Um, mm. I also heard that we have up to 5 million in Sudan, 5 million Nigerians resident in Sudan. But I imagine and I think that they are concentrating on the students uh, in the course of uh, evacuating oh, well, our people from there. Let's say they are concentrating on the registered ones because okay. as we've heard, some people are there and they're not registered mm -hmm. uh, with the embassy. And I wonder why that happens. Some people travel even without the passport, the Nigerian passport. They just want to smuggle themselves into another country and leave Nigeria, and that's all. Uh, I wonder how these people will be identified in a time like this. So it should also serve as an advice, you know, uh, let's advise ourselves, as we say in Nigeria. Next time you're going to any country, make sure you go legally, and whatever it is, let... Have yourself have documented. Yourself, yes, documented. 
identify with your embassy, let them know that you are in that country because yeah. you never know what will happen. Yeah, whether you have enough confidence in the embassy there or not, because there have been complaints about Nigerian embassies in mm -hmm. different countries, yeah. uh, the, the, the way they operate, uh, Nigerians cannot count on them in terms of emergency. When you go to renew your passport, the kind of stress you have to go through. We mm. have so many complaints about our embassies in different parts of the country. True. And so that, I imagine, may be responsible for why some people do not go there to register or identify with them. So, but whether that is the case or not, where you are, you must try to have yourself identified with your embassy. So that in times of crisis such as this, mm -hmm. you will not be left behind. Yeah, and um, the, the authorities, the Nigerian authorities, you should try to do better. Um, the complaints coming from the people who are being evacuated already are so much. Uh, apart from the fact that they were uh, more or less abandoned in the be desert, as they were saying, because they hadn't paid the uh, drivers that were conveying them to Egypt and all that and so many other problems. There also uh, are footages where they are showing us the kind of toilets, the kind of places that are being lodged and it's, yes, they are refugees as it were, but when you say you have voted so much money per individual to mm. take them home, let the places that you put them at least be decent enough. Let them not uh, go get diseases because you are evacuating them. And when they were complaining, some people were saying it's an entitlement mentality. Why would they even complain about what uh, the federal government is giving them? And I was asking myself, if you have said this XYZ amount was voted for that person, what did you use the money for? If the person that you are giving, like the said uh, prisoners, for instance, is, uh, is it 12,000 or so per day that they vote for uh, prisoners? And I have been inside those premises. I have interacted with the prisoners. I have worked uh, uh, with them and among them. And I've seen the conditions of living. And I don't see a 2,000 naira uh, that goes to anybody. Iamgo, when you begin to talk about allocations, budgets it's, and all of terrible. that, you, 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 you're just going to have a blood, high blood pressure. But when you talk about, let's go back to the Sudan situation and the, you were talking about the welfare that they mm -hmm. saw. Uh, I think the, the incoming president has his work cut out for him because some of the things identified, as I said, duplicity, you know, a mm. conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. You have the Minister of Foreign Affairs, then you have uh, the, the NEMA, di di then diaspora you have commission. Diaspora Commission, and then you have the embassy over there. Who are the officials in that gov uh, country supposed to interact with? Who are they going to have all these negotiations with? Who should represent Nigeria out there with regards to things like this? These may be reasons for all the delay, all the bottlenecks, and all the shabbiness that we've seen. So for every one million naira, it is going like four ways. You because see, every see of these bodies that you have mentioned will there have are a interests. share. There yeah, So uh, that, that, that explains it. I think that, that's a good reason uh, that you have said there. But... Let the next government, like you said, look into things like this. This duplicity is uh, really bad. But I hope that what was said in Port Harcourt will not, not be repeated in other things. What's so, that? Like, you know, uh, Wiki saying, uh, we, we, we worked on the federal roads. Uh, do well to, when you enter, uh, return our money that we used to work on federal roads. And the president-elect said, I, I owe, owe you, you nothing. nothing. You have to lobby me. <laughs> you have to lobby me oh. uh, to get whatever you want <laughs> well, to get. Well, lobbying is a part of politicking, actually. And um, should they be lobbied to pay back? That is a question. But that, let's wait and see how all of that unfolds. They, 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 they know how they settle themselves mm. when the cameras are not rolling. Yeah, but let's just take a look at uh, what has been happening. Uh, some of the clips that come from, are coming from uh, Sudan, the returnees, and uh, some of them are shot in Nigeria. And let's just see about the people who are coming back from Sudan. So we're expecting that with the arrangements made by Lema, it's going to be uh, more planes, not just one two planes. Because Egypt makes it difficult. Egypt says if the number of people you brought is less than 200 and the aircraft uh, can only take 150, then nobody will leave. So they want you to pick the exact number of people that they are, you're bringing into the uh, border. So it's important that more planes 
the four queens go at the same time, you bring everybody back. So Nema has assured that they've done that, and um, you know, that's for Egypt. And the Port Sudan bid, um, they're trying to get tickets, because it's even more difficult to get flights to Port Sudan, but they have an airline. So they're processing them now, get them tickets, and they come back home. And if other airlines get the landing permit, they quickly go. So at least they're coming back home. And nobody will, will, we are glad about this life has been lost. And uh, priority was given to students, women, and children. So let's just set our eyes on it. There you have Honorable Abike Dabire Erewa, who is uh, in charge of the Commission for Nigerians in Diaspora, uh, giving us updates. Is she talking for NITCOM or is she talking for, for the foreign NEMA. affairs or NIMA or what was she? Is she supposed to be the one to talk and give us updates on all these ones? Well, this is Nigeria. No, these are some of the questions <laughs> being raised. This all right, is Nigeria. So, the second top trending has to do with court in Lagos grants bail to Ezindi, who accused of IPOP threat. Mm. Uh, he was charged for allegedly threatening to bring the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra to the state. And, uh, well, he's been granted bail in the sum of one million naira with four sureties, all of whom must be resident in Lagos. And that one of them must have property in Lagos, so uh, he has to have four sureties and all that. Um, I don't even want to comment on, <laughs> on that uh, issue uh, because, well, I don't want to comment on that issue Well, the thing is this, um, the, dust, the dust raised by... Uh, politicians in the wake of that election that took place is far from settling mm. all right and we just hope that this incoming administration would do all it can to make all Nigerians feel at home yeah to put an end to all this ethnicity and um, tribalistic sentiments that are doing the country no good because if we say we are one we must see ourselves as one all and right the the issue he raised even though i said i wasn't going to comment about on that the issue he raised was that the Igbos are losing properties right after the election it seemed as if it was a strategic way of dealing with the people who were not in support of a particular uh, political party and he said do I need to bring my people, do I need to bring HIPOP to come and protect our property? Mm -hmm. I think it may have been taken out of context, but the fact that he mentioned a proscribed uh, organization, mm -hmm. that put him in trouble. So that much I can say, okay, it is justified. But now that he has been granted bail, I hope that they will look at all the sides of the story and see what prompted that uh, kind of statement in the first place. So even if he's serving jail term, why did he make that statement? Is that statement true? Was there something that connects that statement to whatever the government needs to do? And they should look at it and, uh, and find solutions because nobody wants to feel unsafe wherever he is, especially mm -hmm. if you're a Nigerian and you are in any part of Nigeria, you should feel safe enough to do your business, to interact, and have your social life, your business life, and any other kind of life that you want mm -hmm, to live. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is a lesson for the politicians and mm -hmm. the people indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, Nigerians must be able to swift, you know, sift out these very, very desperate politicians who do not have the interest of Nigeria and Nigerians at heart as a pursuit their individual political agendas because if you want to lead nigerians you must not destroy nigeria to do that mm -hmm. we are one north south east west nigeria is one and, and any I... attempt to destabilize the country to be able to clinch anything makes whatever it is you're seeking very very questionable i wish also that uh, uh, well inflammatory statements are bad so whoever makes them uh, should be seen to have gone through some form, uh, form of punishment. I wish also that um, the person who made a statement that a particular group of people should never come out uh, on the day of election because they don't support him, uh, were just, I wish they had taken him to, to then grant him bail later. Mm -hmm. We will at least see that justice they are working. There's done. justice. But you leave one person who, 
who made statements that influenced the outcome of the election so much, whether we like it or not, and he's going scot-free. And the other person who is crying that things are being done to his people, he's a, a Zendibo, so he's mm -hmm. responsible to, for his people, and then he's arrested. Well, if it is good to arrest him, I don't have a problem with that. But if you're arresting him for inflammatory statements, arrest everybody that did that. Even, was it Festus Kiyamu? No, no, no. Um, by, uh, uh, by, uh, uh, Fanny Coyote was arrested, or at least invited, to come and explain why he made some, some statements. And after that, he didn't say anything anymore. At least we saw that they were working, and they were making sure that people didn't talk carelessly. So what, what you do for one person, do for another. What you do to one person, do to mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. as well, if they're doing the same things. There is need for social capital mm -hmm. uh, development in Nigeria. There is need because we do not want to continue to be divided along different lines. Mm -hmm. um, 62 years as a country is no joke. I think it's enough time for us to be able to have blended in very well and not to be swayed here and there by individual interests. 62 years, someone who is old enough <laughs> to retire. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> and then in Nigerian context, someone who is old enough to, to contest elections because you need to be that old before you contest election. That's matter for another day. It is matter for another day. Well, You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa.